Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Ticket, and today's video I'm going to show you guys an amazing trick for all Samsung Galaxy smartphones that is going to allow you to save tons of storage space on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. So first and foremost, if you go to the settings and if you go all the way down and if you tap on battery and device care and go into storage, you can see how much storage is available, how much is used and what is using most of your storage. In most cases, it is images and videos. Those are videos you have recorded and photos you have taken with your camera. So my trick is going to show you how to reduce the amount of space images and videos take on your phone, which could literally double your storage capacity. So here's what you want to do. You want to go into your camera and then you want to go to the photo mode right here. And then you want to tap on settings. So when I tap on settings while while I'm in the photo mode, I actually see all the settings for photo. So over here, you want to go to advanced picture options, and then you want to enable high efficiency pictures. And you can read right here, save space by capturing photo mode pictures in high efficiency image format. So it says it right here, save space by capturing photo mode pictures in high efficiency image format format. So enable this. Now also there is a nuance you need to be aware of. I'm going to talk about that in a second. It's very important that you actually know the nuance. But anyway, this is going to save you a lot of storage space. I'll show you how in a second. Let's go back. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to go back to the photos. Uh, I'm sorry, the camera and go to video. Tap on settings. Go into the same advanced video options this time and simply choose reduce file size, which is going to reduce the file size of the videos you record by using the high efficiency video mode. All right. So doing this is going to save you tons of space. If you start from scratch, if you have existing photos, they're going to remain in the format you actually recorded them in before turning the high efficiency mode on. But anyway, now I'm going to show you something really crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to photo. I'm going to take one photo. Okay. That's one photo that was taken in high efficiency mode. And then I'm going to go back here just to show you guys. Uh, I'm going to show you disable this and I am going to take another photo. Alrighty. That should take a couple seconds here. Now this is done in the regular mode. Now I'm going to go to my gallery. All right. Go all the way up and let me show you something. If I tap on this and swipe up, high efficiency 63 kilobytes and if i go back to the jpeg format of the same photo that's 1.13 megabytes so that's almost double the size so that's why i'm saying you can save you can extend your storage as much as potentially double but there's one more thing i want you guys to be aware of okay and that's let me use a real photo for that example so here's a photo that i have let me swipe up now this is a high efficiency image now when you, and you can tell by dot H E I C extension at the back and this over here, let me go back is a JPEG and you can see that's dot JPEG. So that's how you can tell if a photo is high efficiency or a JPEG. Now, one thing I want you guys to understand, sometimes when you use high efficiency to take a photo and when you try to share that with somebody, it might not be shareable. This should be easily shareable on uh, social media. As, as an example, if I tap uh, share and if I tap on Twitter, for example, let's just say tweet, it just pops right in here, as you can see. Okay, so that's not a problem. You can share this on places like Twitter or, or Instagram, but sometimes it may not be shareable at those times you can convert that individual photo from high efficiency mode to JPEG and JPEG is more widely compatible. So what you do is you grab the photo that is a high efficiency photo dot H E I C as you can see. And all you do is tap this button and say remaster the photo. And that starts the remastering process. Once the remastering process is complete, here's what you do. You tap on more options and you say save as copy. When you do that, the photo that has been saved is going to say remastered on the top. But the best part is when you swipe up, it has now been converted 
to JPEG. So it is more widely compatible. These are some tricky settings, but if you manage them properly, you can benefit. All right, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day.